Are you going to um, do the whole? Uh, hey gang, can you hear? I'm drinking. I'm drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, girl. <laughs> That's not where it's called. Hey gang, Tony here with Kara. Uh, we just got back from Monster Mania six hours ago. <laughs> we just got back though. We did. Six hours ago. Um, For the second time. I'm drinking Shipyard. You're drinking. Pumpkin Ale. Shipyard Pumpkin Ale. Look at her. Uh, what do you got? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Shoe fly don't bother me. Pumpkin Ale. Is it? No, I don't know. Shaffley? 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 Shaff... Shla no. Shaffley. Sh Shaffley. Schlonger? Pumpkin Ale. Pumpkin Ale. It's a pumpkin ale. Right. Here we are. Uh, with goodies to show you. Uh, okay, so first and foremost, go hit up Kara's page for her own vlog, which covers different things than I cover, uh, both at the co convention, but also in terms of what she shows in her video, because she showed all of her her goodies. I'm going to show all my goodies here. You uh, can't show all of your goodies. My, Some of those goodies cannot be seen. The but the people love my goodies. People want to see your goodies. They right? Can't. They can't. Why? I said so. So now you're dictating whether or not my goodies get shown in public or not? Comment down below if you want to see Tony's goodies. <laughs> Don't do Don't that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. But what we will show you are the things that I purchased at the convention. We purchased the convention shirt. So I'm just panning through. These okay. are nice shirts, by the way. What's on the back? There's stuff on the back. Yeah. Who is this? Oh, it has the list of the people. Yeah. All of the people that are expensive. All oh, the people that are expensive. Yeah, okay. This is actually a really nice shirt. I'm digging it quite a bit. I like it better than the Chiller Convention shirt that I got um, last spring. Not this past spring, but the one before. They got Romero on there, Lillard, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper, They Live, Halloween, The Thing, Gremlins. They got Bernie on there. Yeah. Bernie looks like Bernie still. And Pet Cemetery, I think. Yeah. That's it's a pretty nice shirt. Um, so we got one each, which is awesome. He got me. He got me a shirt. Yeah, that's right. Every time in my videos, he's like, I don't want you to think that I don't get her anything. I did it. Because I am not a total asshole, all the time. Just like most of the time, not all the time. Ninety-eight percent of the time. Ninety-eight. You heard it here first. I got a DVD. This is, they didn't have any like legitimate, legit. yeah, legit. <laughs> they didn't have any legit DVD sales for some weird reason, but like every DVD sale there was, uh, or booth, was the, like the bootlegs and stuff. However, I am one of those weirdos who's only ever seen Return to the Living Dead Part 1, and one of the booths had all six movies, well, yeah, six movies, all six movies in one set. So, even though it's a bootleg, and I guess he said there's a work print on here as well for the first movie. I have the first one, like a legitimate copy. Yeah. But, uh, I, I just wanted to see the other ones, and I, I didn't I can't believe like... you didn't see most of them. Yeah, it's... What is that? It's, they're just, they're just like burned DVDs, basically. Do they even have labels? I, that's what I was just wondering. Wait, there's little red dots. Do these, these red dots mean nothing? There's like nothing on these. Seriously, wait, R. R. Three. Three dots. Two. And two dots. And, and a blank, something with nothing on it. How is there it. six here? Ten. Ah, I don't even know. I don't know. I've, I'm assuming more than one movie on each disc. That's really, I mean. But you got a discount. It was ten bucks. Because, sorry. uh, that's right. Because, um, Kara also bought, did you look at your discs? I did not. I should look at my discs. She, uh, Kara also got a couple movies from them, and since she just bought them, he gave this to me for 10 instead of, He just 20. really liked my dress. Yes. Everyone really likes your dress. Everybody liked my dress. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I really just got that to at least see the sequels. So I was gonna school in a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What is that? This What's is. That? It's another DVD. This is a legitimate copy of it's something. It's got plastic. It's got plastic wrapped around it. It's plastic. 
Uh, it's something I've been wanting to see for quite a while, and the producer was there. I actually met him before at Severed Cinema, but didn't realize that he made this movie. I recognized, well, I kind of, they were selling VHS tapes, and I kind of had the feeling that they were at the Severed Cinema convention, uh, that I also had a They recognized at. you, too. Yeah. They mentioned the magnets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they realized who I was after. I was like, were you at Severed? So anyway, they had um, adjuster tracking DVD, which... This guy, um, I always, I keep forgetting his name, it's Matt, Matt. Desiderio, he was the producer, and it's basically a documentary about uh, VHS tape collecting, that was 15 bucks, not a bad uh, price, two disc collector's edition, so that's pretty cool. I wonder if the youngins are going to understand what adjuster tracking means. I don't know. A lot of people, probably from... Who were born after 95 might not know. Um, I'm not going to explain it. If you don't understand what it is, man, shame on you. Go find out. Here's the Monster Mania... What is this called? Uh, the um, pamphlet? The pamphlet. Uh, I can't think. Um, it has words. It has all the, yeah, all the information and everything. So I grabbed that. Actually, you know, the very first thing I bought was really this stuff. No, well, it was the t-shirts was right. the very first thing. And then they had these stickers for a dollar each. Mm -hmm. um, and they're from, they're not vintage vintage, but they're from 1990. That's still vintage. Yeah, I guess it is now. Anything over 20 years is considered vintage. Holy sh... Don't shut your, shut your mouth. 20... We're, we're vintage, technically. Almost twice around. God... Oh, you just... Uh, At least I look young. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. So do you. Anyway, these are from 1990. I, I really like the way they look. They're just... They are. They're vintage. Are they, aren't they like a little 3D? Like they feel... Yeah, they have. They pop out a little bit. Yeah. They're uh, ghoul glows and pumpkin put-ons. They glow and reflect. They're meant to be put on to either your shoes or your costumes when you go trick-or-treating. There was one other version. I probably should have bought one of each, but... You should have. They were only a dollar. They were only a dollar. I yeah. was being... I don't know why I was being but cheap. why does the person on the back have, like, ten of them on their body? They're, like, like they're basically, like, bike reflectors well, right, all over Well, right, but why him. would you need ten? I don't... I mean, it's really So you don't ten. end up like the kid at the beginning the of... The parents uh, were like, adventure. please put them on all parts of your body. Meh. How many points? Twenty-five. But those are awesome, and for only a dollar each, it seemed like a very smart buy early on in the convention. Probably the, well, no, definitely the cheapest thing I bought. Yeah. Um, this, I love this shirt. Oh, my God. All right, so there was a booth named Pizza Party Printing. Oh, I like that, that logo, though. It's a pentagram, or a bathroom. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys could be able to see this stuff, but it's a... Uh, what, pentagram? Not a pentagram? Uh, it's a baphomet, but pentagram. Made out of pizza slices. Yes. So that's pretty sweet. So evil. Yeah. And um, their shirts were 20 bucks, which is pretty standard, I guess, for nice prints. But I saw this and I had to have it. I don't have a creep show shirt. That is a beautiful print. This shirt looks big for some reason. They give me a large. They gave me a large. And it's large. It's very vibrant. Yeah, I love the colors in this. I love, uh, I just love it. I love the character. Yeah. It's all the memorable characters from Creepshow. And, um. I like how everything is kind of, like, bold. Yeah. It's just a beautiful shirt. And it's a nice, nice heavy shirt, too. It's not one of those real thin, no. hey, when you buy the shirts that are, like, super thin feeling. So, that was probably the, uh. I don't want to say it's my favorite buy of the day, but definitely high on the list of like the things that I just really like. I'm I'm really happy he with that purchase. He has a thing for shirts. He has a shirt fetish. You don't want to know what I do with them other than wear them. You no. don't. Should, should I tell them? It's disgusting. It's crazy. Comment I mean down below. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> if you want to know what he does with his shirts. I wash them. I know. It's oh. kind of scary. It's very scary. It's craziness. What else? Oh, uh, oh, let's do this. Okay, so I was looking at, there's this artist there. 
no, no, no. Talk for a second. Talk for a second. But, but I just take to... a talk. So there was this artist there. Actually, there was a writer there that I threw Tony under the bus with. He was trying to get us to buy his books, and he was very pushy. And he was like, "What type of books do you listen or read?" And, and he was saying how he was the author. I was like, "He writes books." Oh, I gave him my card. He's like, asked if I have a card. Authors are super pushy mm -hmm. because it's hard to sell books. I understand like the plight, obviously, being a writer myself, but I. But I know, think his wife did art. And he did books. Yeah. So it was kind of cute that they were like both trying to do their thing. And it was just, I, I Someone threw walked under the bus. Over. Someone walked over and kind of stole the attention for a second. And in that split second, he I was fucking around. gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gone. has a habit of doing that, though. He's very easy to like just escape really quickly. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Yeah. There was many times when I walked away, I'm like, where did he go? <laughs> I, I put I, I, I screw my brother over all the time, like at flea markets and yard sales. Sometimes the sellers have the tendency to like start talking to you, yeah. And you like they won't shut up. And I have this. They start talking to me, but I have this way about me that like I start looking away from them, and then because Michael has co eye contact, they turn their gaze upon him. And as soon as that shit happens, I'm I'm out of there. And I'm the nice one who's still, still like talking or whatever. Yeah, I just walk on. away from people. I'm yeah. like, no, no, I don't, nah, we're done. Yeah. But. There was this artist there who sang. There was an artist, and I loved his style. It reminded me of Mark Ryden a little bit. So I, I decided to definitely buy one, but then Kara was like, just get three, because I was taking a long ass time to figure out what. And you kind of were undecided if you even wanted to, like, at that point, it was the end of the end of the day, kind of, sort of, for us, and you did spend a bit of money. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so we decided to get him, and the, I chose this guy. He's cute. I, you know what, I'm gonna, I want to make sure it's that people see me. these, yeah. Okay. Everything else was like, the shirts were big, but I'm gonna scooch. I'm scooching, guys. Because these guys are really cool. Um, so that was one. That was the one I chose. Um, I think I think the reason I liked him, he wasn't the most interesting design, but he has the, the orange going on, the orange and yellow, which reminds me of Halloween, like vintage Halloween. So it's that orange and yellow color that really kind of got me to choose him. There's like a bean beans on the bottom to kind of help them stand, sort of. Um, it gives them a little weight. A little weight, yeah. yeah. And then Kara chose this guy, which is actually really cool. I kind of wish I chose that one. Yeah. He um he has I didn't notice the butcher not the butcher outfit. It's yeah. a really cool one. Um, I like that. We and, can we can switch off. Oh no no you keep it. It was your pick. And then the last one was kind of like I don't think either of us really knew what else to get. And this guy looked pretty sweet, so I snagged him. And then I um, I told Kara to take two of them because I I mean these they're so cool and they'll just get lost on my futon early. They're so small they're probably I'll, just like I'll take two, but you know if we want to switch. Yeah, switch. yeah. But uh, Kara bought those really and gave me one. Basically, is how it works out. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm not gonna show everyone my butt. I'll go this way. I think but I, I thought you wanted to show your goodies. I tell the goodies. Oh. The goodies come back to bite me in the butt. Mm. All right, and I think there's only one thing left. Yeah. The last thing. That thing I'm very happy that you got. Yeah, I because, too. Because you know, um, the that flea market I go to, the D and D collectors. I got one a while back, and then he told me about a situation. I felt bad, and I almost went back to get it for you. Really? But I didn't. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't. So the item in question is the 30th anniversary Nightmare on Elm Street uh, figure. It's really awesome. Which is something that I yeah it's it's I love. I like the box how it opens. Yeah, I I enjoy that too. This was um, only twenty five dollars. Yeah, that's that, that was cheap because I think they go at least for thirty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when they were new being sold. They might have been twenty, maybe, but twenty between twenty and thirty with shipping, I would think at least, right? Right. Um, so for twenty five, I was surprised to see. Yeah, they they take the box closed, I think, for some reason. It's okay. 
Um, they all had that on that, I noticed, mm -hmm. when we were there. And yeah, uh, Kara kind of egged me on a little bit, and I, 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 I submitted. I egged you on? Well, you were like, get by it, you want it. Oh, I, yeah, I really yeah. did. I really that was not egging, that was just like announcing, announcing the obvious. Yeah. Because I think you, um, <clears throat> you mentioned it quite a few times, and then at D&D, &D, when we were there last time, he mentioned how he just sold his last one because you asked if he, they had it. Oh, yeah, I did yeah. ask about it. That's yeah. true. And oh. he kind of looks sad. I'm a very sad boy. You are. All right, everybody. I could, I'm just burping. I could feel, <laughs> I could feel like, I feel like you this could, video, I could feel it deep in my bones. This video went long. We've it been didn't talking go for long. a while, right? No, because we just did mine. Maybe it feels like that because of that. Maybe. But I, I don't want to do it anymore. So this is the most, by the way, of beer I've ever noticed him drink. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty high as far as the alcohol volume, right? Isn't it like 8? No, it's 4.5. Uh, 4.5. I'm just joking. It's alright. But I did drink a beer. He did drink a beer. You don't know the details. Shit's it's going a down! Big deal. This is a big deal. Maybe you don't know the details. Nobody wants to know the details. Maybe they do. Comment down below. I don't. <laughs> That's going to be my thing. Nice. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're we're done. Are we done? I, I thought we were going to hang out for a little bit. God damn it. PG. Comment PG. down below. What did she say? No, that is it. No. What did he say? Shh. You heard it. Go back and rewind. Oh, um. Oh. I just remembered. What? Like and subscribe. Yes, yes. Please like and subscribe. And make sure My channel. My channel. To, to your, to My Cara, channel. To Cara, don't. Yeah, yeah, not his. Not in here. Because you're already subscribed. Probably. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. And if you're not. Then you should. Thank you. See you guys soon. Breathe deep of the night. Drink pumpkin ale. There was nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We did it.